We only have like half an hour, so we have to start very quickly. Just describe what you are, each of you. I'm a grad student. No, come on, girl, you're selling yourself short. You're like a brilliant physicist. I'm a grad student at uh, Harvard right now, and I study physics, and I am psyched to be here and with Robot Queen. <laughs> Sabrina, and my name is Simone. I wanted to be a scientist, and then I realized I'm way too scattered-minded to be a good one. Um, have you met us? <laughs> <laughs> Touche, yeah, yeah, good one, yeah. Should I go to the university this year or get involved with this little startup? Mm -hmm. That sounds fun. Depends where you're in the startup, right? If it's your startup. Good. You ever play any pranks? Wouldn't talk about it, you uh, My questions are going to be to both of you, pretty much. Um, each of you, would you take a one way trip to Mars? I would send somebody there one way, but I wouldn't take it. <laughs> pressure for me because I so badly want to go to space. That is my ill carrier motive for pretty much everything I do. But one way ticket is a tough one. I'd say I'd take one and a half ticket. Yeah. I don't At even know. Any that age in my life, I would gladly be one of those people. With yeah, you go. But uh, I'm sorry, it's not about me. Shatner or Nemo? You would have asked this question if Shatner had been here, really? I'm not trying to make them easy, <laughs> but but they are. They don't have. It's not like a total test for this one right answer. Oh, you're giving this to me. You're oh, like yeah. okay, <laughs> this is, this is okay. the eye contact, right? <laughs> easy out. I never watched it. That's fine. I like the answer. I'm just like classes or making things, building things. So you think I would say classes, right? <laughs> but actually, actually, no, it's, it's fun. I mean, I was, I started with like building things. That's what got me into science. But, um, you know, you take the classes, you learn that you can learn, you know, like you get your grades and you're like, yes, I can do this. But at some point you gotta start learning on your own, even like you are an academic guy. And so I think that um, whatever it takes to get to that stage is what it needs. So it's not just classes. And I think, if anything, making something is, is fulfilling and helps you motivate to do whatever grant you're studying you need to do in the meantime. All right. That's great. okay. You're, you're doing great. Why do scientists and engineers have trouble communicating? Do they? With normal people. Oh, well, now how do you find them? I think you, you're, you're, no, your answer is good. Do they? Not always. Yeah, what are your this? your question. Okay, <laughs> you're for me. I don't know. Communicate with us. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> yeah, that's the way. Anyway. Uh, no, I think that normally what happens is you, you study so much so that you can talk to fewer and fewer people, which is really sad in some sense, right? Because you learn this like technical language and you're like, oh cool, now I can use these words in the right order and other people who study this will understand me. And then meanwhile, everybody else is like, Mm -hmm. So this is what you do, huh? Um, and oftentimes, I don't know, you want to get back to the stage where you're like, let's make some really abstract um, explanation of what I do that's just like picking things up and saying this is like this and this is like that. And then you realize you really need to make sure you know it well enough first so that you're not like oversimplifying. And so you're in this kind of like thing in your head where you're like, am I saying this right or am I oversimplifying? And then you just get like, but in the end it all comes out better because you're enthusiastic and normally like, yeah, no. you, you learn how to write it to a different audience, and then you just try to be entertaining in the meantime. I don't know. It's important yes. in education. Do either of you have goals with where you've gotten to now? Yes. And like a bucket list or goals? You tell me. You just asked if I had goals. Of course I have goals. You didn't ask I only asked if you have. Now I'm asking you what they are. <laughs> if I told you. If you don't want it. No, no, I think the thing is sometimes like you have a lot of goals and then people like say you're going to do something and then you're like, I need to start doing stuff before I say what I want to do. Um, but uh, I don't know. I think the important thing is when you get older, oftentimes it sounds like the kids can say they want to do like so many things and then you get older and you're like, oh, I can't say that anymore. But it doesn't mean you don't still want to do those things. It's just there's a time and a place 
to be like telling people your plans for global domination and then <laughs> Girl, I just launched my own space program, and I'm like, I want to go to space. No shame. Well, I'm not That's ashamed of it. The question is, like, like there's got to be some level of, like, understanding who's going to know what of what your plan is, because you don't want everybody to know the whole plan. Oh, really? Oh, but you're, you're, you're planning some, like, villain stuff. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, that's a okay. different flavor, yeah. Do you, do you feel reactive or proactive these days? Well, I guess you're the one asking the question, so we're reacting right now. Are there any segues? I fell off with the segue. I know, right? I ride motorcycles. I can't ride a segue because, like, yeah. I'm a part. Did you have a helmet? I was just inside, like, a, like an aerospace lab. It wasn't, like, that long. It didn't last very long, so. Old people or warm people? As in like lizards or do you like it? Do you like cold weather or do you oh, like oh. warm weather? I like variation. Huh? Variation. It makes you work harder when it's cold and then know that one day it will be warm. So you're a cold person. I'm a warm person at heart, but I want the cold to remind me of how much I like the warm. Yes. If you go to Antarctica, you will not go in shorts. <laughs> you're not coming back. Which is how I do. <laughs> it struck me as honesty. Because I always put that as the apex of all that's good, but isn't that ethics more than, you know, more than integrity, I think, is deeper? Well, it depends on your person. I mean, I think there's a sense in which integrity in science is, is that you're representing what you're doing accurately, and so that's where the honesty is in. Okay. Have either of you had mentors of your own, or have you mentored others? It's going to be my last question. Yeah. I mean, everybody gets where they are based on like who they happen to meet in the time, and um, some mentors are like, literally like you meet with them every once in a while, and they tell you how to be like them. And then other times it's just someone who's willing to like deal with you when you're just a little kid who wants to do something. And it's it's great to have the opportunity now sometimes when you you can inspire somebody maybe if if, if they like to interact with you and you can give that back. But um, a big disclaimer yeah. this is probably terrible advice like take it or leave it <laughs> but this is what i did don't do it okay <laughs> we we've now heard from brilliance and entertainment oh. and combination <laughs> give him a hand